Hello everybody, welcome to Lighthearted Life and Collectibles. I have my full body silicone baby Kylo. He is the George Sculpt by Kathy Ramiro Biscuti. And we're gonna do a changing video with him today. We're gonna have a little topic today while we change Kylo. We're gonna change him into this diaper. I'm gonna change this diaper. This is the those Supreme diapers I was sharing with you that's got like little turtles and flowers and clouds and sheep and fences and stuff like that on them. So I'm gonna change him into that. And I'm gonna put these little booties on his feet that say I love you to the moon and back. And they rattle. They're super cute. And then we're gonna put this baby gear brand outfit on him. It is powder blue pants and then the top is white with powder blue trim and um, it has little wooden buttons and then little stripes that are blue gray and um, I would say that's more like a coffee color so yeah we're gonna do that and before I put the outfit on him I'm gonna powder him in the uh, majestically matte pure elegance powder and then after we get him dressed we will fix his hair and then of course we're going to spray his clothes down with the oh baby spray so that that can be drawn on there while I'm powdering him I just absolutely love the way this stuff smells so anyway my topic is I want to talk about just things that have been being said and all that, you know, in comments on my channel, especially on shorts, because it's like shorts are what seems to really get out there as far as YouTube goes. And that is talking about, we can only have these babies if, insert reason here. We can have these babies for whatever reason, you know, but the outside public, when they see that we have these dolls and then they want to try to make it seem like, oh, well, I think it's okay if they have these dolls, if this and if that. So we're going to talk about that if, okay, because I see this commented on my channel. I see it commented on other collectors' channels whenever they do a video or something with their baby that kind of gets a lot of attention from the outside public. But I will hear people say, well, it's okay for them to have these babies because somebody will always get on there and say, OMG, creepy. Or, OMG, I'm scared. Or, OMG, this looks like an unalive baby. But, you know, they'll get on there and say that stuff. And then you'll have people that think they're coming to our defense. And they'll say, oh, well, these babies, it's okay. A lot of the people that have these babies is because they've lost children. Or they have these babies because they can't have children of their own. Um... Or they have these babies because, um, you know, they have depression or anxiety, which is true. You know, I suffer from anxiety. I suffer from depression. Been doing a whole lot better these days, a lot better these days. And um, I'm happy about that. Um, but that's not the only reason we collect. There's people that collect these babies just because we liked we like to collect. Um, there's people that are just have been into dolls their entire life. Uh, like today, there was this girl. You know, I went and uh, took a thing of change. Ooh, I put way too much. I took a thing of change. Oh well, we can blend it in to the coin star today to cash it in. And one of the coins that was in there was a one of those dollar coins. And I said, I didn't put this in the machine because I didn't know if it would recognize it. And she said, that's okay. Um, 
She said, I've been collecting these dollar coins. She said, I'll just give you a, if you don't mind me having it, I'll give you a dollar bill for it. I was like, okay, yeah, sure. You know, I said, I'm a collector myself. I said, so I understand when you find something that you really want, you know, because her whole face lit up when she saw the coin and she really wanted it. And I was like, absolutely, you know, no problem. I don't mind if you give me a dollar bill for it. I mean, that's what I brought it to be changed out. Anyway, I'm not a coin collector. So, you know, coins are not something that really just attracts or interests me, you know. But she is. So when she saw that coin, she really wanted it. And you know what? I didn't say, well, why do you collect these coins? It's only okay if you collect these coins if you really need the money. Like, why would you say that? <laughs> I had a comment on a shorts video and I will insert a screenshot of it here. And the lady was like, you know, you're a whole grown woman. You know, if you're gonna teach teenagers how to take care of babies, then do it. Um, or how about this? Adoption or conception? And so my response, you know, was, lady, this is a doll hobby. Would you tell someone who um, collects the planes to get their pilot's license or, you know, the train to get their conductor license or whatever? Like, that's what I told her. And so that just got me to pay more attention to, like, more comments and stuff that was being said, not only on my channel, but other people's channels. And so, you know, I feel like that in order for the general public to, to accept that we have the dolls, they have to put a if behind it. Well, it's okay that they have these dolls if they need it because they're lonely. It's okay for them to have these dolls if they need it for anxiety. It's okay to have these dolls if they need it because they've suffered infant loss. You know, it's always, to them, it's okay only if. And there is no only if. It's okay for us to have these dolls, period. <laughs> period. Point blank. Um, everyone here, we're collectors. And so, it's in our nature to want to have these babies and their accessories because we are a collector of things and people collect they don't just collect things to be collecting them they collect things they enjoy just like you know the lady that I was talking about with the coins I mean having a coin collection for me wouldn't mean anything because the coins don't mean anything to me you know I couldn't care less about a coin collection and when I was telling her about the dolls that I collect, I was like, oh yeah, I'm a collector too. I collect lifelike baby dolls. And she was like, oh yeah, I've, I've seen ads for some of those on Facebook. So I took the opportunity to say, well, you know, most of the time those ads that you see are, um, you know, they're not as realistic as the ones that you're gonna get directly from an artist because they're factory produced and then you know some of them are produced without the artist's permission you know like I, I took the opportunity to educate her on that because you know she simply didn't know um so I took the opportunity to talk about that but even then you know I this lady because she has a collector's mind she never once said well why do you have those dolls have you have you uh suffered a loss or you know, like she wasn't even trying to justify it. She was just accepting of it. Like, oh, well, that's really cool. I've seen those. She never once was trying to pry an answer out of me about why I collected life like baby dolls. Like, that wasn't even a thing to her. Like, that was a, not even a concern. And that's what I feel like goes on with the with the general public, you know, when they see us with these babies it's like all of a sudden they're concerned for us and you know the, because in their way of thinking in their mind that's the only way they can justify 
that we have these dolls. And then also, you know, this is, you know, my perception only. They may not think like this. This is how I perceive it. You know, perception is everything. I also feel like that because they accept the fact that we have these dolls, they have to explain why to other people. Like they don't, it's like they don't feel like they can just say, hey, leave them alone. It's, you know, live and let live. They're not hurting anybody. They feel like they can't just say that, or I, that's what I think it is. They feel like they have to justify it with, well, it, you know, it's okay for them to have these dolls if they have anxiety and if they have depression and if they've suffered loss. And yes, it's okay for you to have these dolls for those reasons. It absolutely is. And at no point do I ever think it's a bad thing because these babies are therapeutic and I've said it before, hobbies in general are therapeutic. That's what we have them for. We have hobbies for enjoyment and to just, you know, have our time where we just unwind and don't worry about anything. That moment in time is when you don't have a thing to worry about except your hobby and you're enjoying your you know, in our case, babies. And so, I got some of that honey powder on the air. You know, I was very appreciative toward that lady today, you know, where I cashed the coins in, just simply because she wasn't trying to come up with a reason why it was okay for me to have these dolls. She was just like, oh, cool, you know. And even though I know it's not going to stop, I mean, people are going to keep doing that. I just think it's important for us to just keep sharing. This is a hobby. Like when the lady said everything that she had to say about, you know, if I want to teach teenage girls how to take care of babies, then fine. Otherwise, how about adoption or conception? I mean, I've raised a biological child and helped raise three stepchildren. So that's four children all together, not to mention nieces and nephews that I've had a hand in raising, <laughs> you know, in my family. I've raised plenty of kids, <laughs> including my own. But, you know, I said, how would you feel if you had just told someone who can't conceive to just conceive? And no response has been given to me from that lady yet. Like, she didn't even respond to anything I said. And it's still on the video. It's on the video with Adeline where we were in Walmart. And um, I just did, like, a little shorts video. And I said, calling all silicone and reborn mommies, you know, what are you doing today? And, you know, and I was just getting responses from people. And that's the video that it's on. And, you know, I just, the more I thought about it, I said, I'm just going to make a video in response to that because we don't have to have a reason other than we want these dolls to have these dolls. There's not an only if. Like I said, we can have them because we want them, period. <laughs> no explanation because the lady wasn't trying to explain to me why she had a coin collection. She was just grateful. I said, yeah, sure, you can take that coin and give me a dollar bill for it. She didn't go into this whole spiel about, well, you know, the reason I really have these coins is because blah, 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 blah. So we shouldn't have to do this with our dolls. If somebody sees our dolls, we just have them. We have them because we like them. We have them because we want them. And if we have them for any of the other reasons that they justify or deem as you know, credible for us to have the, the dolls for, then that's okay too. But that's none of their business. They don't need to know why we have these dolls. We just have them because we want them, period. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have enjoyed hearing my thoughts on this. And I wanted to dress baby Kylo because I haven't been showing him much lately. I still love him. He is still my sweetheart. But I haven't been showing him much lately because I've just been so crazy about Adeline. Um, but I wanted to come on and change him into this adorable little outfit. Um, this was actually a four-piece set. 
that I had gotten here a while back and I actually changed him into the one he had on in a live video that I changed him out of for this one. So he'd been wearing it for a minute and I think that's the longest this baby has worn anything since I've gotten him. <laughs> so anyways, um, we will be back probably tomorrow because I'm going to do a video with Adeline and we're going to be uh, doing a diaper bag packing because we have somewhere special to go this weekend. And so I'll tell you all about that in my next video. So there's Kylo with his little doggy lovey. He looks so sweet. Thank y'all for watching, everybody. Bye. Bye.